What's going on my friends? Cubs and Han back again for another character reveal and marquee event. Um, yes, another marquee event. I know you guys are going to be so happy to hear that. Um, I am too. But hey, look, it's Ara Singh, a character we all want. So that's good, right? Um, anyway, Ara Singh, one of the most wanted Clone Wars characters, I'd say. Uh, not quite as much as, say, Honda would be. Are we building towards a Honda release, though? That could be. Who knows? But Ara Singh is still definitely one of those characters I know a lot of you have wanted to see in-game. Very cool. And look at this. We got some awesome art. Huge props to the art team over at Capital Games. I think this is really cool. It gives us an idea of some strengths and some synergy she's going to have. And it just looks cool. Um, very cool to see that. Good job over there. Um, so I did some arena testing. And you'll notice here the strengths don't list out arena. There's a reason for that. She's not going to work very well in arena, guys. Um, you know, I... I she, when it comes down to it, maybe you will be able to find some bounty hunter niche combos that are going to be able to beat a team here and a team there. But I really do not see her having any kind of sustainability in the arena, especially on defense. It's just not working. But hey, in raids, I do think she's going to have some legitimacy if you are able to either wait to farm her or you've got the money to spend on a marquee character i do think you will find some exciting use for it and so we will test that out so here we go ara sing she's dark side attacker bounty hunter obviously big damage in phase three and you will see her this is one of the first characters we ever have who actually has in her kit that she will deal bonus damage when there is a topple so this only applies to say uh, the rancor when he is when the doors down when you've got uh, this the tank raid when uh the tank is toppled or when treya is toppled and so that's why it's going to save phase three that's exactly where i'm most interested in testing her but i will do testing as well in phase two because i think we could probably get some good stuff going there as well she did uh let's see increased damage when in stealth as well so you want to get her stealth and then buffs bounty hunters uh bounty hunter attackers as well helping you deal more offensive uh, damage. All right, taking a look at her basic attack first. This is called Weakening Shot. Deal physical damage to target enemy with a 70% chance to inflict stun for one turn. If the target is debuffed, Ara Singh gains 20% turn meter. And so nice to attack debuffed enemies if possible. Lots of debuffs going around with bounty hunters, of course. Special number one is going to be called Hustle. Final text, Ara Singh gains critical chance up and offense up for three turns and deals 35 percent more damage with her next ability if ara singh is already stealth she takes a bonus turn and so nice to have that offense up very very good and then if she already has a stealth she's going to get to go again so very nice decent buffs not amazing but the bonus turn kind of helps offset that and then her second special is called sniper's expertise final text deal physical damage to target enemy if the target is toppled this attack deals 200% more damage and the ability of cooldowns or the, and this ability's cooldowns are reset. Huge. And so she is going to be able to deal 200% more damage to top of enemies and she'll get a chance to go again very very cool and i am anxious i actually haven't tested this out yet i'm anxious to get into a raid and see how that works. All right, and then Singh does have a leader ability. This is a Zeta ability. It's called Game Plan. Bounty hunters and scoundrel allies have plus 30% off offense while stealth. At the start of the battle and whenever bounty hunter allies defeat an enemy, all bounty hunter attacker allies gain stealth for two turns. When Ara Singh is in the leader slot and not in the ally slot, the following contract is active. Contract. Use an ability while deep or while buffed 10 times only bounty hunter allies can contribute of course and the reward is all bounty hunter allies gain 50 percent uh, counter chance and their payouts are activated uh bounty hunter allies recover 25 percent protection and gain 25 percent turn meter whenever an enemy is defeated very very good and then if we look here she's got a unique this is called relentless killer ara singh has plus 40 percent critical damage this bonus is doubled while stealth so plus 80 percent critical damage while she is stealth wow whenever a bounty hunter ally defeats an enemy ara singh gains 10 percent critical chance stacking 
for the rest of the battle. Very, very cool. And then you can see her payout here. Whenever Ara Singh re uh, receives a reward from a contract, she also gains the following payout. And we are obviously know that bit. Uh, payout, Ara Singh has plus 25% offense, 50% health steal. And whenever she uses a special ability, she gains stealth for one turn. All right, so that is a quick crash course on Ara Singh's payout. Now let's actually go in, let's try her out in raids i've got a team that i would really like to test out here in sith raid phase two and then we will also test out phase three all right so again she will be ideal in phase three i think we're going to test that but i do just want to give this a quick test drive in phase two and see see if we can get anything going here in phase two um just because we have a lot of damage here the only thing we're really losing here is that obviously that bonus she's going to get from the top of which i think is going to be pretty significant plus 200 percent damage is pretty sweet all right so again the contract is use an ability when buffed that's pretty easy i like that because a lot of these contracts are pretty hard to fulfill uh because you've got taunters and that kind of thing all right let's taunt over here um oh i love embo's ability here so nice do a little hunting party very good not a whole lot of damage just yet but there we go oh and i love that the boss doesn't clear every time he does that i'm thinking he's gonna clear um okay let's go ahead and do this all right i'm just gonna kind of we got a lot of aoe here so i'm gonna kind of let the aoe handle handle the sith marauders and sith assassin we got here look at this we already have our payout fulfilled very nice um oh and science taunting i was gonna remove some buffs all right he's still taunting let's just remove that all right here we go dengar i can't believe how fast that contract was fulfilled <laughs> that is amazing <laughs> Eleven thousand damage Ooh, 1000 boss come on now come on embo there you go Sixteen thousand damage bring it home this team doesn't look super survival which might be their biggest downfall in this phase here we go. Boom. Nice. Ooh, and Greedo's out of the battle. But look at all those counters. Very nice. Liking what I'm seeing so far for raids. Again, the the only thing I'm going to say about that is, you know, I mean, it does a lot. It might be really good for raids, and I think it might be fantastic for... Um, ooh, look at all those bonus hits for good damage. It might even be optimal for phase three. Maybe maybe the new best phase three team. I don't know, but we'll see. I, I have a hard time seeing it beating uh, checks mix. But, ooh, 46,000 damage. Very nice thing. But uh, it's, I, I get hesitant recommending teams like this just because we've got uh, how, many, how many marquee characters here that you need. You need Embo. Um, Bosk is out of marquee now, but he's still a hard node farm. Takes a long time to get, so it's not going to be a team that the common player can have much access to. But perhaps a team that the common player can dream of um, achieving at some point. Um, wow, we're really getting into some good damage here. Oh, Sing's out of there. Yikes. Okay, that that was good, and then it ended fast because we had so much pain, cycle of suffering, really, on everybody. We'll see how long Dengar can. He's, he's basic countering for 26,000 damage. All right, we'll see here. Um, eight, okay, there we go. Almost a million damage and probably not optimal attack strategy. Pretty decent for phase two. Not amazing, but I'd say pretty decent. All right, let's go ahead and try this out in phase three. All right, so I'm going to use the same team, Ara Singh in the leadership spot. And we're basically going to want to get all these lightsabers out of there and then use standalone on Ara Singh because we'll have a topple. We'll have that bonus 200% damage plus all of the buffs that come from that ability, which plus when she's stealthed, very, very good damage. All right, let's do that. Um, why don't we save hunting party? I'm going to taunt because I'd really like Bosk to be the one to get isolated. Let's do that. Ooh, nice damage. Nice damage. Let's save hunting party again for the topple. All right, we'll do, we'll do this. And then oh, I, I'm so tempted to just use it, but uh, yeah, not, probably not the best move. Ooh, close. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and then we'll do this. Boom, there's our topple. Okay, we're going to have to cycle through a bit since Singh just took a turn. Boom, boom. 
Um, hunting party. Yeah, I like that. Oh, but he's isolated. I'm so dumb. I was like, what? Okay, here we go. All right, this is juicy. This is exciting. Okay, let's put this at 1x speed. See how much damage we can get. Woo! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Wow, that was good damage. I like it. All right, let's see if we can get this train going again. See how many times we can do that. Oh, and look at this. We've got the ability ready again because we did it when toppled. 100,000 damage. The only thing I don't like about it is we didn't get, like, you know, Han. He's going to be able to go just boom, boom, boom. We didn't get that effect with uh, Sing like we normally do. But look at this. We're going to be able to get to a topple again very soon. Um, boom, toppled again. I like it. We're not going to have... Uh, Stand alone quite ready and I, I kind of regret using uh, that ability. I, I shouldn't have done it We'll see if we can get her another turn here though, but still 36,000 damage Not bad Will she get another turn? It's gonna be close. Yes Boom a hunt wow 140,000 damage on that Very nice. I love how fast we are able to top her. This team is really built for this phase I really am digging what I'm seeing here. Um, let's do... Why don't we do this? Okay, I'm going to save that ability. Let's just take that out. There we go. Some AoE action. Why don't we move that counter? I don't like getting countered. All right, we'll try this. Boom. Very nice. We'll save this for the topple. Ooh, and she was able to take it down completely. Very good. 28. And look at this. We're already, we're almost to 3% damage on the phase. Very nice. Here we go. Boom. 160,000 damage. We're past 3% on the phase. Very, very nice. <laughs> I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Okay. Let's get another topple. I think we should be able to. Look at that. Sing was able to get us to a topple almost just on counter chance. Um, let's do this. We'll get her her offense up. She is basicing these lightsabers completely. That is glorious. The only thing is the rest of the team is not super survivable. Okay, here we go. 170,000 damage. I do not mind. I do not mind. All right, let's get let's get these sabers out. Let's see if we can do one more. I think we probably can. Let's just keep Dengar around. She's taking him out by herself. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Very, very snazzy. Okay, Dengar's gone. I think we can manage. I can't. This is really nice. Just taking him out with one shot. Ooh, don't. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We can't stand alone, but we can do this. Mmm. Should we offense up first? Well, I'm worried we'll lose a turn if we do that. Let's just do this. 130,000 damage. Very nice. I'm really anxious to see how much damage Singh did total. There she goes. All right, let's see how much we were able to pull. 1.6 million damage, and I am positive this is not the optimal amounts that you are able to do. Obviously, a lot of you guys are going to be testing this out, especially some of the some of our raid guru game changers, I'm sure, are spending hours and hours on this. This was my first try, and I was able to, without thinking much, do a hundred and six or um a million point six damage so what are some of your guys initial takeaways on this bounty hunter team i think it's a very solid uh raid team the biggest catch i'm gonna say is look at all these marquee characters you gotta have for it and so for a lot of you it's gonna be like yeah cubs that's nice but i'm not gonna be able to have this team for how long now that's probably a pretty big catch not an arena team that you're gonna want to use again i just epic crash fail and burn in the arena but definitely built for raids and fun to use i mean i thought this was a really fun team to use in the raids let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below as always my brothers don't forget my dead body sorry about the mess